What's up guys? So today we're going to be covering Brands Hatch. So I'm not going to be doing a live um, race with this because last night I just did the manufacturer event. And if you do want to see a live event with a lot of good people racing this track, uh, my video from yesterday, you can watch that. And I'm good. I did literally the same stuff I'm going to be showing you in this video. And you'll get a lot of experience just watching that. So this car doesn't have anything done to it. It's stock, just like uh, it was last night for manufacturers. Um, I did change brake balance a little bit. I adjust that every now and then. Sometimes I have it at two or three. You know, I just kind of play with it. Brake balance is, is very subjective. So depending on how you like to drive is going to depend on where you're going to put that. So there's no real answer for me to tell you where to put your brake balance. That's just going to be you playing with it. So um, as far as everything else goes, uh, no traction control. Everything's stock. Um, definitely have cone markers enabled. I like to say that in all my guides, just to make sure you can follow along. Um, no stability control, no counter steering, nothing like that. ABS always at, at default. And I begin some more questions about this too in advance. People always ask me about where I put my force feedback. I leave it at four. That's like where I leave it. Sometimes I'll keep it at five, but I feel like four is good. I can still feel the car. It's not too much, it's not too light. It's, it's just, it's a good amount. I had it higher. When I first started playing this game, I actually had it like seven, and then I started getting a mark in my hand. I actually still have a little bit of a mark in my hand, but anyway, I started getting a mark there because the torque was like so much, so that's why I put it at four. Um, anyway, let's get into it. I don't, I don't want to waste your guys' time with me talking and all that. So, and make sure you do have manual enabled. You really, you're going to need to have manual, and if you're not used to having a manual yet, um, you're really going to have to try because... If you're not using a manual, you're gonna lose so much time on the track and there's gonna be situations and times where it's just it, it's just not gonna be possible for you to be competitive. So it's better just to learn now and, and adjust to it opposed to ignoring it. You know, it, it's, it's definitely something worth to get into. So let's go ahead and start. I'll show you guys the lines that I use. Okay, so we're gonna start here. Okay, so uh, I'll, start, I'll start with the, the first turn here. All right, so when you're coming down this stretch right here, I always stay on this side, okay? I always stay like on the, on the left side. I think that's a good idea just to be right here and practice. So stay here and then see those two cones right there? Once you pass the two cones, once you pass those, I actually almost hard brake. You see the little brake indicator right there? Do you see like how when I'm hitting the brake, you can see the red line? Well, I don't put the line, Some I put it like all the way at first, maybe to slow the car down, and then I'll keep it like maybe about like right there or so. Kind of slow it down enough. Not hard break to where it's gonna like lock up, but just kind of enough a little bit right here, okay? So I'll break, and then once I do that break, I'll kind of guide the car with no throttle, okay? Um, no throttle, and then I'll be in fourth gear. So fourth gear is gonna be the gear you're gonna wanna be in. And then you wanna come in right about here, and then you should be full throttle. Once you hit that point, you should be full throttle and come out just like that. And you will not get slowed down at all running over those little curbs like that. You actually you actually want to run over those curbs. So like you see those those little curbs that are there and the little, what's that, like green marks that you see, that little strip? That's actually a good guide because if you can just, if you can run on this, like kind of, you know, hit these marks and just kind of run on that a little bit, you're going to still maintain a really good speed. So. Don't try to run on those because eventually you're going to go too wide and like hit that sand and spin out or something like that. But my, what I'm saying is if you end up going a little wide and you run on this, this green, you're going to be okay. So once I get to this point of the track, you're going to sit because you're already going to be here, right? Because you're going to be coming wide. So you should be in this position right now, right off of that turn. You should not be on the right side. You should end that turn being on this side. So once you're on this side and you see these two cones right here, you're going to go past them, probably break about right here. You see how that shadow is? It's just like this overpass shadow. Once I see the, that shadow right there, that's when I break. I'll do a hard break. And when I break, what I'm doing is I'm breaking and I'm guiding the car into this turn. So I'm braking and then guiding in here, slowly coming around just like this, okay? And once I come around, I'm going full throttle here, come up this lip right here, and then come on this side right over here like this. And then once you're here, downshift in a third gear, you should be third gear right here. Just kind of lightly tap the brake. You should like hit the brake, lightly tap it, third gear, not second, third gear, and then just kind of come on this side 
and just end up like right here, touch those like that, and you'll come wide. A lot of the time you'll see I, I come up like this, and that's perfectly fine. You do not lose any time going on that green. You do not get a penalty, nothing like that. So you want to come wide, and you want to use all that road, and then come up on that green. And that's going to give you a really, really good, really, really good exit right there. So after you're done with that, now, by the way, to keep in mind, some cars, like this is for the Citroen specifically, because that's, that's, you know, that's what we're using. Um, but if you're using like a Porsche, for example, the Porsche seems to be one gear lower than the Citroen. So like on that turn right there with the Porsche, I'm actually in second gear. And same thing with this turn up here. I'm usually like in second gear with the Porsche. It's just the way the gearing works. So you're going to have to play with that. But obviously I'm doing this with the Citroen. So here, when I see these cones, I'll break here pretty, like, pretty hard and then just kind of coast around this in third gear. So I'll be in third gear around this come and just come to the inside keep it casual and then floor it about right here and come wide just like that okay that's a tricky turn you're gonna have to get used to it now this is another tricky turn so stay left here okay stay left right here you're gonna see these cones okay so these cones right here the two i break right in the middle of that cone that cone and this cone right here i'll break like right there i'll go into fifth okay i'll be in fifth gear and then as I'm turning into here, then I'll go into fourth gear and I'll try to stay as much to the inside as possible. So it's a slower entrance, slower entrance. And then as soon as I feel like I'm close enough right here, I'll full throttle in the middle of this turn and then come out wide just like this and be out here. And then when you get to this point, you're gonna be in fourth gear, same thing. In between those cones, break and then guide it right here. See a little green mark right there? I run over those. I run over that little green. I, I do not I I do not go outside of that curb. I actually aim to run over that green. So like right here, that little part, I just I aim to kind of clip that just like this and then floor it towards that cone right there and then come out this way. That that's pretty much my line right there. Then stay on this side. And then when you stay on this side, come over here. I I, I stay right here and as soon as I see that cone, break and then kind of glide right here again run over it just like that and you want to glide just like this you'll come out wide like this over here should be third gear break in between the middle again and same thing right here on this side kind of glide right in between here full throttle out just like this that's pretty much how you're going to run it and this turn pretty self-explanatory on this turn right after those cones break fourth gear you should be able to glide the inside like this and then floor it on exit Okay, so let's do let's do a, a normal speed run and just kind of get an idea of what we can do, right? So here it is, right here. Brake kind of glided in there. That was decent. Full throttle, about right there. After that, brake. That wasn't where I wanted it to be. Come right here. My ghost is fast. Brake, slow down. Full throttle, running on that. I'm just going to stay in fourth. Third, kind of glide around this. Glide, glide, glide. Then full throttle as early as you can. Put a little wide, that's okay. Then you want to stay on this left side. Right between the middle of those cones. Fifth, fourth. Stay on the inside. Four when you think you can. Right there. There it is. Fourth, glide through here. Full throttle. Stay on the left side. See that cone right there? Brake, cut in. Kind of glide it. Full throttle. Downshift, third, inside. Full throttle. A little wide, still keep it together. See the cone right after it? Boom, brake, fourth, come to the inside. Full throttle. Now you can finesse this and make it way better, but it's a good general rule of how to do it. See, okay, 131, let's break again. Break, break from the inside. Uh, all right, I spun out, I tried, I tried. I tried to beat my time, I was trying to hit like a, maybe try like a 129 or something like that. All right guys, well that's about it, and I hope you really enjoyed this video and I hope you get something out of it. And uh, I wanted to tell I want to tell all of you that are watching this video thank you for 
the recent feedback that I've gotten and the, the recent subs that I've gotten, th thanks to all you guys. I mean, the reason why I'm continuing to make these videos, continuing to make these guides is because of that feedback, because of those subs that I've earned. And, and it shows that I'm doing this for a reason. You know, like uh, it, it feels good. It feels good helping other people and, and giving giving advice, making people drive clean and, and get faster. And, you know, I, I enjoy that. Um, so I just want to say thanks to all you guys for that. And, it, you know, it does mean a lot to me. And um, also, I wish all you guys the best of luck in FIA. And if you've gotten frustrated, as I have, um, you know, with some races, maybe maybe a lag, a lag spike happened to you or, you know, you got hit off the road or something like that. You know, just just know that it, it is happening to all of us. And I had to tell myself that the other day um, because, you know, there's going to be times when something happens and you feel like it's really unfair and and you just have to think, hey, it's happening to everybody. And if you if you keep letting if you keep letting it get you frustrated, you're never really going to grow. You know, you need to like just take every race as a step towards learning and becoming better. You know, so don't let it get to you. Just just stay focused, keep your driving line and just do your thing, you know, and, and even if you don't win, you're still going to learn that much more, you know, just 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 take it all in, keep going and don't give up. So I appreciate all you guys watching. Thanks again for the recent subs and feedback. And, uh, you know, I hope to hear from you guys soon. Take it easy, guys.